what have we got here? Basically, we've got a full fun fair, all waiting with nowhere to go. We're just not earning any money. If you look around the yards all over the northeast, all over the country, it's just fairground equipment standing idle, and that is a major problem in our industry. We need the government to talk to us. We need. We haven't got that at the minute. And although we feel with a lot of humility that you know. Why do people want to talk about affairs now with all these terrible things what's happening in the world and so many people losing their lives? What happens for us is that certain events only happen once a year. So each one of them are gone. You know, at the moment, for us now, our old season at the moment is gone. 90% of showmen have been closed since our season finished in November. If we don't get open this summer, it's going to be April, March, April next year. But we haven't had three or four months. We're talking 12, 18 months of it. We're trapped at the end of the day. We're, we're like a bird who's used to flying free and now being put into a cage. Our major fares, they're what pay our insurance bills, the biggest part of our fuel bills, road licences. They're our main bread and butter. They're the ones we rely on to keep us on the road. People don't actually realise that uh, what the fairground actually provides for the local community. Uh, and the fun that younger people and older people actually get out of it. I mean, this could possibly end now. There's no light at the end of this tunnel at the present moment. On the 23rd of June 2020, Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced that from July 4th, many businesses and venues in England could reopen in accordance to new government guidelines in place during the coronavirus pandemic. Most of these businesses include those in hospitality, catering, places of worship, community centres and businesses, health and fitness and leisure, most notably in that case amusement arcades, theme parks and fun fairs. Today is the 16th of July which saw the opening of a fun fair taking place in Cranbrook near Exeter in Devon, hosted by David Rowland and Sons. This is their first time opening up since the UK lockdown came into place in March earlier this year. We caught up with David Thomas Rowland to hear his story about life in lockdown, opening up for the first time since then, as well as what the future could hold with the current pandemic going on in the world. Good afternoon everyone. David Rowland, as many of you will know, here in Cranbrook. I can't say it's the start of the season for the Rowlands number two section because our own section, my own section, was open in Exeter prior to the lockdown. I also went to Kings Lynn and as we all know in the business, several of the mines took place. We're here on a glorious sunny afternoon. We have a session now for all frontline workers, National Health and Frontline, free until five o'clock. And we've got a very good response. The ground is looking very well. The galloper is behind me, my son worked on them all winter. They're looking magnificent in the sunshine, and so is the rest of the equipment. You will already have seen all the safety signs to comply with government guidelines regarding COV-19. And I must say, they've done an exceptionally good job. It's glad to see a ground open, but of course, this is the first day. I just hope they get the response that they deserve, all the showmen that have attended this event. None of us know what the future holds. I've just had to cancel another fair, Summer Court Fair, which is in September. Every event, Throughout the country, carnivals, fairs, fireworks, agricultural shows, traction engine rallies, music events have been cancelled. And that's the lifeblood of our industry. I should have yesterday, or this evening, or this evening pulling into Kingsbridge Fair, which we've attended for a very long time. devastating effect on the industry. And when, when will it end? All showmen in the country were very quick, the ones that were out, to pull back to their winter quarters to comply. 
comply with the government request. And I believe that we have been left on the back burner. Local authorities, most local authorities, will not let sites to show them. I believe that the government should step in and try to help us so we can get open. It's been proven, not only here but on other grounds throughout the country, that we can open, comply with social distancing, put on all the measures that are needed, like cleaning the rides down, plenty of hand sanitizers. But we're in desperate need of help. My, my concern is also, not only this year, going forward, we all know the reports that they think there's going to be a spike in October, November. And the figures that they are giving are quite frightening. Many of us are hoping that they will get a vaccine. My personal opinion of that, I think it's pie in the sky. I hope I'm wrong. We all know what the pharmaceutical companies could earn if they could come up with a cure for the common cold. Billions and billions of pounds. That hasn't been done. So I'm not, I personally am not very optimistic that we can do, they can do anything as far as a vaccine. 